This is a super quick tutorial on how to download files from Miss Kate Cuttable's website and bring them into Design Space. So this is my Pinterest board on which I post freebies. And you will be seeing the links directly in the I Love My Cricut group from now on. Tanya will be posting them for you. So today's is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it. And when you have a Pinterest link, you click it and then you'll see the image. You need to click again to get to the actual site. And then here is the free cuttable, the freebie for today. And what you need to do, click it. And then I'm going to add it to my cart and you can see that the price is zero, but you need to go through their ordering system anyway. I'm adding it to my cart. And from here, you can see it's been added to my cart. I'm going to click checkout. Has my information in here. And what I'm going to do is log in, since I already have an account. Then I'm going to click Next. Everything is fine here, so I'm just going to click Next again. No payment information is required, so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to place the order. And you can see right over here, under Downloads, there's a red link and it says you can download this up to three times and normally downloads are time limited so be sure you get it right away. Then I'm going to put this into my digital cutting files folder and do I have one for Miss Kate Cuttables? I do. That's a folder that I have for it so I'm going to save that in there. So once I've saved it I can click on this little link on my browser that's going to unzip it for me. If you're on a Windows computer, you're going to have to go to the directory where you saved it and unzip from there. So this is the one, and then there are different parts to it. Looks like it's two different parts, two SVG files. So I'm going to get Design Space running. Need to sign in here. and I'm going to click Create New Project. Then what I need to do to get my SVG files is I'm going to click Upload Images. You're going to see two choices here, Image or Pattern Fill. Since I'm uploading images, that's what I'm going to click, and I'm going to browse for my files. So that was in Digital Cutting Files and then Miss Kate Cuttables. And you're a great catch, I think it is. I need to bring them in one at a time. Let me just look at what the other one is. Okay, that's the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to bring it, bring it in all together. The first, I'm going to make this a little bit wider so you can see the file names. Uh, this one says, you're a great catch title, and it says apart. So those are all the different pieces apart. And then this one is together, and it's got them all together, but I'll be able to ungroup them if I want to, or I can just cut them from Design Space, it takes care of that. Or you can also make it a print and cut file. So I'm going to save that. Now I can click this and put it on my screen. And I've got it here. So what I could do is I can take this and I can flatten it. Then it's a print and cut file. And then when I send it to my cutter, by clicking go, you'll see that it has registration marks for me and there's the file. And if I don't want to do that, if I want to cut all of these as separate pieces, I'm going to insert an image now because I've already uploaded it. I don't need to upload it again. So what I'm going to do is I clicked insert images and I'm going to come over here to my filters. I'm going to click the funnel and I'm going to look for my uploaded images. Here it is right here. So I'm going to click it to make sure there's a check mark there and I'm going to insert my image. Now it's ready to cut. You see that these are all cuttable pieces. 
So when I send this to my cutter, it's going to set up all the mats I need with all the pieces in different colors. And then you piece that together on your project. If you wanted to, for example, combine these two browns and the two turquoises to oranges so that you don't have multiple of the similar colors, then what you do is you choose the image and then click sync. Then what you do is the ones that you want to put on the same mat, choose it here and drag it up to the other color that's similar. Also with the orange, so that we have all the orange together and we can have all the brown together. So then we've got pink, red, orange, brown, and beige. And when I click go, I have those mats instead of the extra mats that I had earlier. So I hope all of this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.